Welcome to Naresh Technologies. Uh, I am Banga Raju and uh, see in this I wanted to demonstrate about the new features of C Sharp 7. Okay, we will have a series of videos uh, demonstrating about uh, uh, all the new features that have been added in C Sharp 7. Okay. So, we will start with the first one. The first feature is improvement, improvements in out parameters. What are these out parameters and what are the improvement in out parameter? Let us try to understand first. Let me open the Visual Studio. I have a new project called as C Sharp 7 features and the default class called program. In this, I want to define a method public uh, void mat 1. So, here I am going to define a method with uh, few parameters int a int b. So, two parameters. So, this method if you just understand takes two integers as an input, but does not return any value. It is a non value returning method. It is a non value returning method, but I want to return a value. If you want to return a value remember you can return only a single value. If you want to return a value we can return only single value, but I want two results to be coming out of the method. What is that? the sum of the numbers as well as the product of the numbers. I want the sum and product of the numbers. So, I cannot write int c is equals to a plus b and int d is equals to a into b and I can't say return c and return d is invalid. The reason why is this going to be invalid is first thing we did not specify written type. Even if specify the written type this is invalid. Why? Because this method is not going to return two values what it returns is only one value and if you just notice this return d it is showing you a green color line below and that is a warning what is it, it is an unreachable statement unreachable statement why is it unreachable because return is a jump statement when we say return c the control will jump out of the method so this statement will not execute so the drawback is i can return only one single value but if at all I want to just send more than one result out of a method, okay, we have an option. What is that? The option is I am not using any void, any written type here, just void, but I can just use this ref int c and ref int d, ref int c and ref int d, okay, so that I do not require to declare the c and d again here. So, just understand these two let us think like input parameters and these two are just like output parameters. What are these? These two will take a value into the method for execution and these two will send the results out of a method after execution. So, how do you call it? How do we call it? Okay, first uh, here I am declaring two variables m is equals to 100 and n is equals to 25. Now, to call the method I am creating the instance of the class program. Program obj is equals to new program creating the instance and I am going to call the method obj dot math 1. See if you notice this method call it is expecting four parameters here a and b and these two are input means we are going to send the values now 100 uh, comma 25 are the values I want to send. So, without this just simply I am writing m comma n. So, m and n values will go into the method and now the c and d will work like output parameters will bring back the values, will bring back the values, okay, will bring back the values here. So, to capture that values I need to declare two variables now, to capture the values I need to declare two variables, okay. So, just declaring int p is equals to 0 and q is equals to 0 are the two variables I am declaring. Now, come here and write ref p comma ref q. Compulsory must use that ref there. The reason is while declaration we used ref while calling also we just require to use that ref console dot right line p plus some simple values here plus q and console dot read line console dot read line. Now, start the execution we got the results. See you understand the value of p and q are zeros. If you want p 
print the values before execution. Print the values before execution. And once you print the values before execution, you can see both are zeros and afterwards you got the results. Okay. First, these two values will go into the method now and then they are overridden with the new values. Okay. So, basically the address, the address comes here and uh, the values are accessible to you there zeros and afterward they are overridden with the new values. Okay, fine. Now, fine. I can write this method like this also. I can write this method like this also. In the place of ref, we can use out. So, what is the output? The output is exactly same now also. Just call it again. To call it, I am declaring two variables. x is equals to 0 and y is equals to 0. obj dot math 2 and now I am passing the same m and n values, but now I am writing out x and out y and console dot right line x plus plus y. You see there, oh, maybe semicolon missing, yeah, semicolon missing here. Yeah. You got the same output. So, both are executing in the same way. And now you will have a doubt here, Array, what is the difference between ref and out? The difference between ref and out is same. In case of your ref, okay, see I did not write any logic here. C is equals to A plus B, D is equals to A into B, I did not write. When I did not write any logic, still it prints me the values 0 and 0. Array, how is it printing the values? Because even if the logic is not implemented, so okay, the same values will go to the appropriate C and D. What values? Zeros. These zeros will go into this particular method. The zeros only will go into the appropriate method now and when you run it, it is just going to print you the P and Q values as it is. P and Q values as it is, nothing happened. Okay, But now see, I am just going to remove this code. I am going to remove this code. If I remove this particular code in math 2, I am getting an error. What is the error? The error is telling you the out parameter C must be assigned to, the out parameter C must be assigned to before control leaves the current method. You need to assign a value. Why should I assign a value? Because the C and D are not initialized here. But here C and D are initialized, yes they are initialized. With what value? With the value of P and Q, means the two zeros are used for initializing the C and D. So, no problem at all though executes. But here C and D are not initialized, but still I am passing the values now. These values will not go to the method at all. These values will not go to the method at all. Only in case of ref only, these values will go to the method. But in case of out, these values will not go to the method. So, compulsory, it is mandatory to initialize this. It is mandatory to initialize the appropriate things. If you do not initialize, you get an error. Okay? That is why because these two values will not reach there, even if I do not initialize also, your code will execute. See, I did not initialize but still you run it, you got the output. But try the same thing with P here. I did not initialize P. I did not initialize P and I did not initialize Q. I get an error now. Why I get an error? Because the P and Q are not initialized. What if, if they are not initialized and this P value is required for initializing the C here and the Q value is required for initializing the D here. So, for that particular reason, it is compulsory you require to initialize them okay? because these two values will go into the method. But when you come to x and y, these two values will not go to the method. Means, the things what you are declaring here will never go to the method. Okay? What I am just using here, the x and y, these values will never go to the method at all. Means, these particular variables are just used here only in this context and they will not carry any value to the method. So, when they are not carrying any value to the method, now the question arises, why to declare them again separately? Why to declare them again separately? But unfortunately, until C sharp 6, until C sharp 6, we should separately declare it and then the variables should be used in this case. But from C sharp 7, what did you, what did they do is, array, 
these are not carrying any values into the method. So, there is no point of separate declaration for it. So, simply you can eliminate this and and you can just simply say out index and out int 1. So, and execute you get the same output and also remember the x and y are local you cannot access them outside of the method. So, when they are not required outside of the method separately declaring is not necessary straight away you can declare them here and you can consume them here. So, this is the op first option what they added for us what is this improvement in the out parameters. So, when you are writing the code there will not be any difference when you are calling only there is a difference we do not require to separately declare straight away you can use it ok. So, this is the new improvement that has been brought no need a separate declaration for this again to call the method ok. So, this is the first feature of the C sharp 7.0 what is it improvements in out variable ok. Thank you for watching the video for more videos please subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will continue with a series of the videos about the new C sharp 7 features.